Police say one man was stabbed in the forearm, another man was stabbed in the neck, and a third man was stabbed in the back. We know two of those men have already been treated, but one victim, a man in his 70s, remains here at Harborview. He's in serious condition in the ICU. We're also learning more about the suspect, Christopher Morset. He's been arrested more than 20 times in the past, and court documents describe a violent criminal history. Three people stabbed just after 10 o'clock this morning is the reason why Christopher Morset is in the King County Jail. Officers recovered the weapon allegedly used on three men near 6th Avenue and Pine Street. Police describe it as an unprovoked random attack. Morset allegedly fled, stripping his clothes as he ran and was naked when he was arrested blocks away near 8th and Olive. As you can see, we have a lot of them. What happened in broad daylight is still on people's minds tonight. Just the sort of random nature of it and the fact that it's part of a trend of downtown crime uh, is just very concerning. Um, so, I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm here tonight is to get these guys their take on what they would do about it. Nick O'Connell came to the City Council Candidate Forum, a debate among those who want to represent District 7, an area that includes downtown. We've seen a 43% increase between 2016 and 2018 within this part of our city in crimes against people. John Scholes with the Downtown Seattle Association stood beside Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best last week to talk about a law enforcement operation underway since June to crack down on the crime in this corridor. This behavior is unacceptable. Drug dealing and the violence and the quality of life issues that go along with it will not be tolerated. Many of these people are all too familiar with our justice system. Court documents show that's the case for Morset, who's been arrested more than 20 times since 2009. And today's arrest highlights a growing concern about violence in the heart of the city. We have work to do, uh, there's no doubt. This is not uh, as welcoming and clean and safe of a neighborhood as we want it to be. Morissette was booked into jail for investigation of assault and a Washington State Department of Corrections violation. We should learn more after his first court appearance, and that could happen tomorrow. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.